Hi, my name is Danny and uh, in the previous video, we have shared with you more about the specification about E-Lite GU10 Smart Bar. So today with me, we have my colleague. Hi, my name is Austin. So today, I'll be representing the Philips Hue uh, Smart Bar. Uh, we'll be comparing between the E-Lite Smart Bar and the Philips Hue Smart Bar. Without further ado, let's get on to it. For E-Lite Smart Bar, right, the material used is PVC. Uh, so it gives this very glossy feel compared to Philips Hue is a bit more matte. Philips Hue is reinforced uh, PVC. It gives me a more steady um, feel of the light bulb and it's heavier. It has this uh, protrusion of the lens so it gives you a wider angle. Both are tritone and they also have the RGB uh, components as well. So for e light smart bulb right it's actually at uh, 2700k to 6500k mm -hmm. in terms of the tritone uh, whereas for rgb is uh, multi-color philips hue also have same thing tritone uh, rgb range from 2000k to 6005k plus there's a uh, 16 million colors as well 16 million colors yes. mine, mine is multi-color i think Ma it's just a way they market uh, for e light GU10 bar, the wattage is at 4.5 watts. Philips Hue will be 4.3. Wattage is how much power the bar consumes. Lumens is what means that br the brightness of your bar, how much light you can get from the light bar. So higher the lumen, brighter your light bar goes. If we compare um, the Philips Hue and the e light, even though both is at 350 lumens, Philips Hue is brighter than e light. In terms of energy saving, e light consumes about 0.45 watts. Philips Hue will be 0.5. For smart bulb, you usually have to leave the switch on and uh, we will on and off it through mm -hmm. the app itself. Mm -hmm. So while it's at the off port, right, it will be at standby mode. By this standby mode, it's not totally soft. Yeah, so there will be a significant amount of electricity consumption to let the app communicate with the bulb. For e light to pair this, you only need um, the Wi Fi. So, for Wi Fi, you have to on and off the switches uh, about five times, then it will pair to your app. The Philips Hue will be almost instant to pair up using Bluetooth. Let's say you want to uh, link up all your lights in that one particular room. Um, you can individually control them using the uh, app itself but if you want to uh, link group them up in um, one area you still have to have the Hue Hub to you know, control every light in that particular area so that is something uh, different from um, E-Light and Hue Bulb For E-Light, you don't require any additional accessories or devices so for people who are new to Smart box, you can uh, consider e like because you just need Wi Fi, and in the app itself, it has this grouping function to group everything together. I think for e like it's actually uh, quite affordable, it's at, at the $20 plus range. So, I think for beginners who want to try out um, smart lighting, you can actually invest on the e like Even if you're on a budget, you can choose the e like smart box. For the Philips Hue light bulb, it will cost you around $60 range. If you have more money to spend on, you can invest on the Philips Hue light bulb. If you want to have more advanced features, you can consider the Philips Hue light bulb. However, if you want to fully utilize the Philips Hue light bulb and the advanced features, you have to purchase uh, a Hue hub or other accessories as this Philips Hue light bulb has limited function. We hope that this video has given you a better understanding about the E-Lite GU10 Smart Bar as well as the Philips Hue uh, GU10 Smart Bar. And if you have any other questions, do feel free to leave a comment below and we will try to answer your question. And don't forget, you can like, share and subscribe to us. See you guys soon.